everyone, and welcome to this week's Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton. Sharing Love, Bringing Hope is a benefit concert to be held on Saturday evening at 7 p.m. at the Hempel Auditorium at the YMCA of the Rockies. Proceeds from the concert will go to support Hope House, a new charitable organization designed for women in crisis pregnancy situations. At this fundraising concert, local favorite cowboy Brad Fitch will perform on stage as well as Jack Overly, guitarist, vocalist, and composer, along with Dmitry Gelkovsky, an amazing internationally award-winning violinist. You'll also enjoy music from the Trail Ridge Trio, Michelle Gergen Weisner, Lynette Johnson, and Annette DeChant, who will delight the audience with their selections of music. Lori Burnham and Robert Gunn will be singing beautiful duets along with Gary Brown, percussionist on the marimba. Tickets for the concert are now on sale at McDonald Bookshop and Hobart Office Services. Cost is $12 in advance, $14 at the door, and children under 12 are just $5. Get your tickets today and show your support for the Hope House. Meet Lord Dunraven, watch gunfighters shoot it out, and take a ride on a horse-drawn wagon at the 5th Annual Estes Park Heritage Festival this Saturday and Sunday in Bond Park in downtown Estes Park. Festivities begin at 10 a.m. with continuous musical performances and historical demonstrations. Learn how to build a log cabin and visit an authentic mountain man encampment. The whole family will enjoy horse-drawn wagon rides and the petting zoo. And don't miss the Stanley Steamer chugging around town. Members of the Single Action Shooting Society will reenact a Wild West gunfight right downtown. <laughs> and make sure to bring your appetite because there'll be tasty grilled foods, funnel cakes, homemade ice cream, and old-fashioned pie auction. Vendors will also be throughout the park offering wood carvings, handmade soap, knitted goods, and much more. For more information about this fun family event, visit the Estes Valley Historical Society website at epheritagefestival.org. There's a lot of action out at the fairgrounds this weekend, starting with the Senior Pro Rodeo. Competition takes place August 20th and 21st with entertainment beginning at 7 p.m. Sponsored by the National Senior Pro Rodeo Association, this event hosts cowboys and cowgirls age 40 and older to compete in nine sanctioned events, which include bull riding, calf roping, barrel racing, saddle bronc riding, steer wrestling, and more. There will also be a cowboy mounted shooting demonstration as well as mutton busting for the kids. Purchase your tickets through the fairgrounds office or at the gate. General admission is $12 and kids 8 and under are free. For more information, contact the town's special events department at 586-6104. Competitors seeking to qualify for the Pan Am Games and Olympics will participate at the Paragon Dressage Horse Show scheduled for August 19th through the 21st at the fairgrounds at Stanley Park. Dressage judges the art of balance and communication between horse and rider in what is commonly called horse ballet. The show is one of the five largest in the nation and competition begins at 8 a.m. each day and admission is free. On Sunday, August 21st, the big horses will be back in town for the second annual Draft Horse Show. The show runs from 9 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. and is free to the public. There will be a variety of competitions to see, such as the Mayor's Feed Team Race, Obstacle Courses, Hitch Classes, and a crowd favorite, the Bareback Barrel Race. Kids are invited to compete in the Stick Horse Race held in the arena. Don't miss the Draft Horse Show. You're sure to leave the fairgrounds with a renewed appreciation of these gentle giants. Showcasing 35 of the latest independent films from around the world, the 6th Annual Estes Park Film Festival will take place September 16th through 18th at the Historic Park Theater. Filmmakers from around the world will come to Estes Park to enjoy independent, feature-length films, documentaries, and short films. The festival will also honor their featured guest, three-time Emmy-nominated actor Barry Corbin, known for his performances in Northern Exposure, War Games, and Urban Cowboy with a Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution to cinema and television. 
For a complete schedule, visit EstesParkFilmFestival.com or call 231-2580. Advanced tickets and passes to the festival are available online or at the Park Theater box office. This week, we leave you with some photos of the summer hummers. Dick Orleans took these amazing photos of ruby-throated and rufous hummingbirds sipping nectar from Indian paintbrush flowers and then resting on a branch. The hummers are busy filling up before they fly south for the winter months and we're lucky to be able to view the beauty and color of these tiny birds. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Hazelton with the Estes Park News. With so much going on, you're sure to have a great weekend. See you back here next week.